Dr. Romano. Oh, you're at your dining room table. You getting ready to have a little lunch? Hi, I want to go over a solution to a problem that I posted to my study group that I think is a really hard problem. What I wanted to know is which one of these compounds, if you come along, okay. which, which one of these compounds, A, B, C, or D, is going to open up the fastest if we treat it with a nucleophile. Now, I wrote the solution up for you. Why don't we just look at all of them? If a nucleophile attacks the first species, you attack it and moves out. So this is just thought of as a leaving group. So when it leaves, it's leaving as a carbon with a minus. Here, the nucleophile is attacking. The ring opens up to relieve the strain. And again, it opens up. And you can think of this as leaving as an O minus. Here, the nucleophile attacks again. Ring opens up. And you can think of this as a, a sulfur with a minus. And the same thing goes for here. Nucleophile attacks, opens up. So the question is, which one goes the fastest? The best leaving group is the one that's the most stable. And therefore, all we're going to do is look for which one of these is the most stable. Well, we have a rule. If you have a family and you're going down a group, the size is the most important. As you're going across the table, the most important thing is going to be the electronegativity. Now, if you look at all these, what you want to do is to say, what's the most important factor? Is it size or is it the charge? Well, the size is going to be the most important factor. For the simple reason is because you know that oxygen is the most negative. Oxygen is the most negative, so therefore that would be the nitrogen as far as a leaving group. But if you're looking at size, sulfur is larger. Because it's larger, that means it's going to be able to spread out the negative charge better and more stabilized. Because it's more stabilized, the S- minus would be the best leaving group. So the correct answer, if you go back to here, the best answer will be choice C, the one with the sulfur. All right, I hope that helps and clears up how to do a problem that I would consider, that's a challenging problem. If you got that right, you're pretty good. All right, guys, good day to you. Bye-bye. Dad Romano, it's Memorial Day. Can I take some time off? No time off. Get to work. I'm gonna get I want to go to the pool. You get twice the amount of work. Good day to you. Sheesh, Dr. Romano. Good day to you, sir.